this? Can anyone explain this to me? Uh, my name's Nicholas Simon. I'm a senior here at Conant High School and I play golf. Um, you've obviously achieved a lot of success as a golfer so far. What are some of your earliest memories of learning how to play? Um, just my dad bringing me to the driving range when I was really little and just hitting balls with like clubs that were this big and I just fell in love with it from a really young age. Do you have any pre-match rituals or things you do for good luck? Um, Pre-match rituals. Um, I listen to a lot of country music. I always am listening to music while I'm warming up. Um, but other than that, not really. Do you have like specific music you listen to, like a specific artist? Yeah, like Zach Bryan. Zach I Bryan. love Zach Bryan, yes. All right. At State, you went into the 18th tee tied for the lead after a really impressive round on Thursday. Can you walk me through what it was like? What was going through your mind as you were approached to find a hole? Um, I knew after birdieing the 17th hole I was tied for the lead. Um, and I knew it was playing really tough, so I thought a birdie would kind of put a nail in the, put the last nail in the coffin, if you know what I mean. So um, I was just trying, I was just trying to play golf. I wasn't really trying to pressure myself into doing anything, um, and I was just kind of, I was just kind of out there, and it ended up working out. Uh, what are your future plans? Uh, my future plans is um, I'm committed to the University of Michigan. Uh, to play golf, so I can be continuing my academic and athletic career up in Ann Arbor, um, and I'll be studying finance. All right. So here we're going to go some questions towards golf. So I heard there's all these birdies happening in golf. What does the sport have to do with wildlife? <laughs> with wildlife? Uh, yeah, uh, somebody back in the day uh, named all the scores after birds. Uh, so there's birdies, bogeys, eagles, uh, albatrosses, um, all of them named after birds for some reason. Um, so if you make a birdie on a hole, it's one under. So it's a, if you're on a par four and you make a three, it's one under. Um, so I don't, I don't really know where that came from, but I just know they're all named after birds. So these are all types of scores? In yes, all so, types of scores are named after birds. So if, when you feel mistreated during a golf tournament, are you supposed to go to the fairway to feel better? Um, yes, <laughs> yes, hitting, it, hitting the ball in the fairway definitely makes, it, makes your day a lot better, for sure. Uh, why does it take so long to perfect your swing when you could find a swing at any local park? Oh, that's a that's a good question. A uh, lot, lot more goes into it than just the playground swing. That's for sure. How long did it take you to perfect it? Um, I have, I'm far from perfecting it. It's a uh, it's a grind uh, every day. It's it's a different swing. So yeah, I'm far from perfecting it. Do ties exist because golfers are indecisive? I would say that is a big reason why caddies do exist. Golfers are very indecisive. Not only on, just on the golf course, but usually in life in general, we are very indecisive, yes. So they just sort of like hype you up before a match and things like that? Yeah, the caddies could hype you up, but also like a bad caddy could ruin your day. Has it happened or no? Uh, yes, caddies have ruined my day before. Yeah. Oh, sorry about that. <laughs> what are those giant thumbtacks you stick in the green? Giant thumbtacks. Oh, you're talking about ball markers. Yeah. Um, so there used to be a rule that you couldn't mark your ball, so like you couldn't pick your ball up. So people would have to like hit around it. Um, and now um, we can mark our ball with those giant thumbtacks and then just pick up your ball and then place it down exactly where it was. Um, so then people don't have to worry about hitting around it. So. Oh, interesting. Uh, why do golfers have so many clubs? Do they like to collect them? Um, some, some people collect them, but there's, um, you're allowed 14 clubs and uh, each club goes a very different uh, distance and you can use each club um, in a very specific uh, way to get around the golf course. Interesting. Are they like different, like for specific distances mm -hmm. and things like that? Yeah, different distances and different shots you need to hit around the green and stuff. What are bogeys? Are they related to the boogeyman? Uh, bogeys definitely uh, are as scary as the boogeyman, that is for sure. Um, but bogeys are the opposite of a birdie. That's if you get one over um, the suggested par for that hole. Um, so yeah, bogey, bogeys are not, uh, are not fun to make. All right. 
can you drift with a golf cart? Um, yes, you can drift with a golf cart, but I've never done it. Would you try it? Yes, yes. <laughs> what do golfers use it for? Um, just to get around. We just, um, if people don't want to walk to their golf ball and carry their bag, they rent a golf cart. Um, some people consider it, consider it the most fun part of the round. Um, but yeah, they just use it from, to get to, from point A to point B. Yeah, you don't want to mess up your clothes. Yeah, right. Very right. fancy yes. to fire these yes. uh, Why are more points better in golf? More points aren't better in golf um, because it is a lot harder to get the ball in in less strokes um, than it is to use a lot of strokes and get the ball in the hole. All right. Yeah, because yeah, if there was more points in the game, it would Right, then it would never end. Then. What happens when your ball lands in the water? When your ball lands in the water, um, usually you just have to drop another one. But in, a, in the rare occurrence, you can get in the water and try and hit it. Have you ever done that before? I have tried. Uh, it does not go well. Yeah. When you, moved, uh, when you move on to the next hole on the golf course, does it get harder, kind of like a video game? Um, <laughs> some golf courses, um, yeah, gener you know, generally the first hole is the easy, one of the easier holes. Um, but yeah, you could look at it like that, but no, I wouldn't say it gets you know, harder every single hole. All right. Yeah. What are those sandboxes in the middle of the course? Those sandboxes, um, more commonly referred to as sand traps, um, are just there to be really annoying. You know, they're just trying to make it harder for us. So they, you know, if you hit it in there, it usually makes it a little harder um, to hit your second shot. So they're just, they're just there to be annoying, basically. Well, how many golf balls have you lost this season? <laughs> how many golf balls have I lost this season? Um, not as many as past years, but I've definitely lost quite a bit. I don't know exactly how many I've lost, but I've definitely lost quite a few. Would you mind sharing where they went? Um, those golf balls are either swimming in a lake somewhere, um, or just gone off the face of the planet. Just off the golf course, just no idea where they went. Know where they went. Yeah. It's a mystery. Just gone. Yeah. All right, those are all the questions we have. All Thank right. you so much. And that's yeah. what is golf. Yeah, no problem.